this party started. Okay, woo! Who's excited to be here tonight? I see all of you with awesome goals and dreams, and I am here to see if I can excite you and help with some ideas that may make a difference. And, um, you know, maybe you guys want to share some ideas together as a group. But either way, um, I wanted to share just a little bit with you for a few quick minutes. Um, nothing probably ground shattering or maybe it's something you've already heard before. But either way, just a reminder that you can do this. It's very possible. And um, a, a little training that I learned from my um, coach that I want to share with you, okay? So first of all, let me go ahead. It sounds like most everyone's muted, but I am going to mute everyone real quickly just in case it does get a little bit noisy with the background noise. Okay. All right. So you're welcome to unmute yourself. If you have a comment, we'll do maybe some Q&A at the end or ask for feedback. Um, or you can type into the chat bar. I'll open up my chat box and see if anyone does have anything that they chat as we go. Um, okay, so here's what's called low-hanging fruit. When my coach Dave first told me about this, I was like, low-hanging fruit, what? But it's actually a really brilliant um, concept that when you understand it can make a huge difference in your points every month. And not just every month, but in retention for your team. Um, if you're looking for this low hanging fruit consistently and you know how to work with it, it can make a huge difference. And this is something that I really had to learn by trial and error because it's something that doesn't come natural to me to look at reports. It doesn't come natural to me to um, like seek out people that don't have a convenience order on and you know reach out to them. Um, but it's so effective, I've found. Once Coach Dave convinced me that you're leaving a lot of points on the table. And he told me how many points it was. I was like, okay, I get it. Tell me what to do. And once he gave me a few simple steps and I tried them out, I was blown away in the difference that it made in my points. So this training specifically is going to be helpful for anyone that has a team with white lines. And what that means is people that are not consistently ordering every month or they don't have a convenience order on. You may have some people that do order every month, but they're not ordering 100 PV as ambassadors. Um, you may see, as I saw, um, a horrible trend of people signing up new ambassadors on your team without a convenience order. And that's something that we've been making great strides on lately, but it's very detrimental when it's not understood and emphasized how important that is. Did you know and would you believe that, um, that about 80% of people that sign up without a convenience order on will never order again? Is that insane or what? And when looking back at our team numbers, like there was a huge, huge percentage that was signing up without convenience orders for forever up until like a few months ago when Dave brought this to my attention he's like look do you understand not only are you, you there's a huge hole in your business and you're losing so many points this way but you're having all these people come try plexus without giving it a fair shot and thinking you know that it doesn't work for them because they don't understand the importance of consistency and commitment. And so it kind of gives Plexus a bad rap. And it's, I mean, how sad for those people that could have amazing Pleximonies if they stuck, stuck with it and here, you know, they're not being trained well, they're not being set up with a convenience order, and so we're losing them before they even have a chance to gain a Pleximony. That is so heartbreaking. So, anyways, um, this does pertain more to you um, ambassadors that have um, those white lines, those people that um, are not ordering 100 PV every month. So probably as a brand new silver, this may not apply to you, but it will be helpful information for you to have 
as you move forward and as your team continues to grow and the longer you're with Plexus, okay? So low hanging fruit. If you picture a tree, the low hanging fruit is obviously the easiest to pick, right? So it's the easiest to harvest. And that's what this is in our back offices. You have, um, your back office actually has some really awesome reports if you know how to use them. So in your detailed genealogy specifically, like that's the one that I use most often, you can easily um, find those people that are um, not ordering 100 PV every month, that don't have convenience orders on, um, or that are you know, very inconsistent. Maybe they'll order for a month and then they'll skip two months and then order again. These people are not using Plexus correctly and not gaining the benefits of what Plexus has to offer because it absolutely can't be achieved when you're not consistent. So, um, and it leads to huge holes in your business that are hard to make up for. So that's the whole concept of low hanging fruit. So first um, let's address, like I'll just share some ways that I've found to be really, really helpful. Um, first one, doesn't cost you anything, but I'll tell you some incentives can be helpful and sometimes necessary to get some of these people back on track um, and sometimes very worthwhile. If you're close enough to gold or close enough to senior gold or ruby maybe or something, but you're going to have to find some extra points, incentives can be a game changer, right? They can totally make all the difference. Um, and so the first one that I found um, that this one, I, I found it to be effective without um, any incentive at all. And if you stay on top of it, it is so, so much more effective and super simple. So Dave, he gave me a list of all the people that have joined um, this month without a convenience order, right? Um, and like I said, it's most effective when you reach out to them like the sooner after they join the better. Um, but I think even looking back to last month, cause you're looking, everyone here on this group has a goal for this month. So you've got to find points for this month, right? Um, so it's not really going to do you any good to reach out to those who signed up this month without a convenience order to get them to turn that convenience order on. It will help you for next month, which of course is important, but it's not gonna give you any extra points this month. Um, but, so reaching out to those last month is where you're gonna wanna start to get points for this month. Um, I simply like had a message made up. Um, if you ask me for it, I can probably send it to you, or maybe I'll post it in the group if I can. Someone's just gonna have to remind me probably. Um, but. I just made up a super simple message just saying, hey, um, congratulations on your growing team. I see that Mary um, got signed up without a convenience order. So do you mind reaching out to her and helping her get that fixed? Here's a little video you can send to her to help her understand the importance of a convenience order. And I mean, not every single one of them, but most of them responded right away and they were like, oh yeah, I'll get right on that. Or, oh yeah, I think she meant to or whatever, or maybe it didn't stick. Sometimes they don't stick. So you just gotta make their ambassador aware and why it's so important. So um, reach out and do that. And um, that'll help with the points for this month. Now new ambassadors that just joined this month, they're most excited when they first join and it's really not hard to get them to find a customer or to, to join with them. And so we do want to encourage everyone to get a welcome pack. Yes, of course, you can give them an incentive and, or encourage them, hey, just go ahead and order 100 PV this month and then you can get your welcome pack for your next month's order. Well, that's gonna mess you up for leaders retreat, for one thing, and we do wanna make sure everyone takes advantage of that welcome pack and we don't start that bad habit of telling people to postpone a welcome pack. They're so important. They only get that opportunity for 30 days. Um, we want them to get that discount. We want, um, we want those business building bonuses going throughout the team and 
Um, most important, I think, is we want them to get that success kit in their hands as soon as possible, right? So I know for some people, like me intentionally, based on the needs of some new ambassadors, like really it's best for them to start with different products than just the triplex now sometimes. Um, for example, I just helped someone join that um, has really bad fibromyalgia. And so we decided for her, we've got to get that pain and fibro fog under control first before she starts addressing the gut. So it's going to be a different type order. So naturally that's a hundred PV order for her to start with. But I said, you know what, within that 30 days, we've got to get you that welcome pack because I do not want you to miss out on that. So just consider that if you're going to promote that, you want to make sure they still get the welcome pack. and that they understand that that is a huge advantage that they don't want to miss out on and preferably get it in before the end of August, even if you have to give them an incentive. So it counts for you for leaders retreat. Okay. Um, also for them to get that success kit is super huge. So anyways, there's something to think about when they first join. So when they join the month of, and you're trying to get your, your points, um, I found it to be really effective to give them an incentive if you give it to them early on enough and help them with a little message to send to people for them to get um, one or two friends to place an order to get started with them. I mean, we're talking like, you know, two products. If they find two friends to order two products, then that's a lot of times going to give them that, um, the 100 PV beyond their welcome pack, super easy. Um, so that, that's some low-hanging fruit, new ambassadors getting 100 PV beyond their welcome pack. Um, reaching out to new ambassadors last month that didn't turn on a convenience order, that's low-hanging fruit. Um, people that are ordering consistently but not getting 100 PV. So just show some love to them, do some, uh, ask a lot of questions, see if there's, um, if they understand that them ordering 100 PV makes them qualify for not only a little kickback on their order, um, but that they, or yeah, basically like they're earning commissions on their own orders. Most people love that thought. Um, and when you do the math, they're actually like getting um, a nice discount on anything they purchase beyond that. And so people love to hear that. So encourage that and give them an incentive if you have to. Like, I, you wouldn't believe how many people, when we pulled the reports last month, were at 80 PV or higher, but not becoming income qualified, right? Um, so look for those people. A little incentive. Hey, um, just for being an awesome ambassador on my team, like I'd love to treat you to a three-day trial. I see you haven't tried the new Slim yet, or have you tried the Edge, or have you tried, you know, whatever it is, like, like treat them to something or give them an incentive to order one more product. Have you tried the new X Factor Plus? It is amazing, one of my new favorite products. Here's a little bit of info about it. Um, if you order it this month, then I'll throw in $10 off or send you a Plexus water bottle. Those are, aren't those like eight bucks in the back office? Super, and it's amazing what people will do for those. Um, so some other ones, and I'm probably gonna forget, I should have written these down, um, but you guys know how I am, so spontaneous, <laughs> and uh, I, yeah, procrastinate. Um, some other low-hanging fruit is, um, gosh, now I'm like totally, my mind just went blank. Um, we just talked about someone on your team called Michelle. Can you think of any that I haven't mentioned yet? And she's frozen. <laughs> she's like stuck. <laughs> nope. Okay. I'm trying to think if we're missing any. Um, okay, so we've got new ambassadors. We've got those that are less than 100 PV. Oh, yes, yes. Here's a big one. Uh, well, maybe not so much for this month, but I know for last month we were looking at people who placed 100, um, a 150 PV order in May, but didn't order again in June. Because what that told us is they were they ordered that action pack with the new Slim, but then they hadn't ordered again and they are running out now. So those are people you wanna reach out to and follow up and be like, how are you loving the new Slim? Isn't it amazing? You must be running out by now, I see. You know, just like giving them a little love and encouragement can sometimes get them to be like, yeah, actually I do wanna get some more. Um, 
so look for trends like that. Look for people that um, are inconsistent, that are um, anything that you can do to just get them to that 100 PV mark, okay, makes all the difference. And if you're working with your reports, it's really not that hard to see where you can easily come up with some more and add some more. Um, so just wanted to be helpful that way and just let you guys know that this is a very, very, um, very achievable goal for all of you and it's going to be so worth it. So we're talking, um, if you haven't ranked gold yet, a $500 bonus, you guys, what, that's not even counting all your business building bonuses, which you're going to be getting, you know, most of you quite a bit if, if you're reaching that goal. Um, it's not even counting any commissions that you're going to be earning. Like that's just the, the rank up bonus 500 bucks if it's your first time hitting gold. Amazing. If you're re-ranking gold, so like if you've hit the rank of gold in the past, but you weren't paid as a gold ambassador last month because you didn't qualify with 100 points, then this month um, you can re-rank and hit that again and get another $250 bonus, which is insane. That's so amazing. Um, if you're shooting for a rank beyond gold, which I know a lot of you are, then these are, it's basically the same steps, but just doing it more and more. So I can't encourage you enough to take advantage of those IPA meetups, you guys. The people that are joining in on those daily, they're moving, their businesses are moving. Sometimes it takes a while to really see the harvest from it, but it's that consistent activity that makes all the difference. The seven day challenges, guys, take advantage of those. We, we don't, I don't like calling them seven day challenges anymore. I, I'm calling them seven day info and giveaways groups. Um, but take advantage of those. We've got so many awesome opportunities now. With your new ambassadors, um, you guys should all be on the leaders group. So you should know that Emily Roberts shared her new ambassador launch um, that I am just added everyone on the leaders group that wanted to be added to that. That's a new advantage that we have. So let's just sit down and make out a game plan and say these are all the things, you know, that I can take advantage of that'll make a difference. And you've got to be tracking your points consistently. If you're doing so and you're doing those IPAs and you're finding those hidden points as you go, then you guys can really, really do this and it's going to be so worth it. Um, it's so easy at the beginning of the month to be excited about a goal and then we're working hard, working hard, and then you kind of fizzle through the middle of the month, maybe get a little frustrated, and then by the end of the month you've lost all your steam. I'll tell you what's going to be the solution to that is being on that those IPA meetups every single day. Seeing other people that are doing it every single day makes the difference with you. Even though you're not really talking to each other, um, it's just the activity of sitting together and knowing that they're reaching out to people. They're following up with people. Um, they're looking for those hidden points. Same as you. You're there doing the activity with them. And so um, that's going to make all the difference. Does everyone understand what it takes to become, like, to rank gold? That 100 points, how you need to do that? Um, and it's so many points outside your primary leg, which I think is only 15, I should know this, 40, oh, 15, 15, right, for gold, okay, <laughs> thank you, Michelle, I was like, I'm pretty sure it's 15, but you're making me double um, question myself, okay, um, all right, let's just open it up for Q&A, maybe some ideas that you guys have that you found to be really effective, just go ahead and unmute yourselves if you have anything you want to share or any questions. Michelle, did I forget any of the low-hanging fruit? We talked about them on your team call. I don't, I should have written them down. I, I don't think you did. I think you covered all of them. Okay. Um, I think the only thing was, um, and this was more towards the end of the month, but when people haven't ordered 100 PV, reaching mm -hmm. out to them to get them over 100. Right, yeah, that's important. And, and definitely, like, you can – see, Monty doesn't like to give a lot of incentives until the end of the month because 
as the month goes on, even if they place a 60 PV order now, that doesn't mean they're not going to place another one be before the end of the month because a lot of people do. So maybe save your incentives, especially if money's tight and you really need to be careful. You can wait until the 28th because the 28th is when all um, we know that all uh, convenience orders have processed that are going to, oh, here's another one that I didn't think of. You know, actually last month we had quite a few people that had a convenience order set up that didn't process. Did you know you can see that in your back office? Because you can look and see that they have, were scheduled to have a convenience order process on the 17th and here it is the 21st and they are showing zero PV. That means that something went, went wrong. They need to update their card info or you know somehow the order stuck. So you need to reach out to those people as well. We had quite a few of those last month that you know, that doesn't even take an incentive because they wanted that order. They had it set up. You just got to reach out and say, oh my gosh, it looks like there was an error. Let me help you fix this. So that's free points right there if you just reach out to those people. And communicate with your, um, like work with your leaders on your team. Hopefully you guys have some leaders on your team and you can work with them. What are they trying to go silver this month? If you try to get three people silver, you know, that's going to help you reach that goal so much more if you're also looking for those hidden points and teaching them to do the same. So um, work with the people on your team and that's going to make this so much easier. I mean, of course you can go gold by yourself, not likely in one month, but um, it's so much easier and so much more um, more effective in the long run to have a good, strong, growing team is if you're building a team of business builders, you know, not just doing all the work yourself. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so I see some chats here. You mentioned people that ordered a double welcome pack in June and then turn off their CO in July because they had extra product in them to turn on the C order now. You're right, yes, Tara, thank you. Um, yeah, there are some people that order that um, double triplex that they plan to skip the second month. So those people usually will take an incentive to get them to place another order. But what it doesn't, um, what you can get them to do, I think more likely is, hey, so let me give you an incentive to find two friends to start with you. Um, or, you know, a lot of times by then, especially if they did the, the seven day challenge, there's some other products that they're wanting to try. So encourage them and say, hey, 100 PV and I'll put you into this drawing or drawings are really cost effective, but it's not as likely that people are going to jump all over them as if they get a $10 Amazon card or something like that. Do you, you know what I'm saying? Because if it's an instant gratification, then they're more likely to do it. But the drawings can be effective and cheaper. So if you need ideas, if you want to talk out like, okay, I want to incentivize this group, um, then you could talk out some ideas with your sponsor or, um, you know, just make sure that you're not giving the farm away or whatever you want to call it just to hit gold because then you know what's the point of getting that extra bonus if you're spending it before you even get it and breaking yourself so just be smart but you can definitely come up with some good stuff in the new ambassador launch group shani okay well shani um shani you should be silver or higher correct um if you're on this going for gold group and if so you should be on our Facebook group called leaders lifting leaders and that's where I announce that so whoever your sponsor is as long as you're silver um, well I mean you don't even necessarily have to be silver to be on that group but just ask your sponsor to add you to that they should be on there okay any other questions it's about time to go um, but we have a few minutes if anyone has any questions. No one? All right. Well, it's fun to see all your pretty faces tonight. Do we have any guys on here? All the girls going for the goals this month. Good job, ladies. 
So proud of you. All right, leadership one oh or yeah, leadership one oh one starts in four minutes. If you guys aren't taking advantage of that, such an awesome weekly little book chat. Um so we're starting a new book in two weeks, so it's a great time to jump in um, if you want to take advantage of that. So, and then I'm doing um, Q&A with Whitney at 6.45, so less than an hour if you want to jump on that too. All right, everyone have a great night. Thanks for jumping in. Love you guys. You can do this. I'm cheering for you. If you do have any awesome ideas, share them on that group chat, okay? Have a good one. Good night.